I always say to check every aisle of your goodwill and this is why I am in the plastics way down here on the bottom shelf is something fantastic. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. Today is Saturday, about 4.30 in the afternoon, and I am headed to my favorite Goodwill. I wanted to try going a little bit later in the day so I could catch them after they'd finished restocking the shelves. So hopefully, when I get there in just a couple of minutes, they will be finished restocking and we will have some nice full shelves to look at. We have had some really torrential rain uh, in Las Vegas over the past few days. It's the end of July, monsoon season they call it, and we have had clouds and lots of thunder and lightning and plenty of flash floods here in Vegas. Now the funny thing about the rain here is it doesn't rain all over Vegas all at the same time. It tends to be very patchy, torrential in some areas and sprinkles in others. Here we are in the parking lot. It's looking a bit busy and I'm wondering if they are having their monthly red tag sale today where all red tags are half off. The colour of the day is green. I'm seeing it through the window here. Looks like there's plenty of carts. So maybe all these cars are people in another store than Goodwill. We shall see when we get in there. Let's go inside and see what they have. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Sure, my pleasure. Let's go thrifting. I have my thrifting Vegas blanket and my reusable shopping bags. Color of the day is green. All green tags are 50% off. And today I have a question for you. I receive comments and emails every week asking me to consider doing YouTube live sales where I select some of the items I thrift and offer them for sale in a YouTube live session format. A couple of my favorite YouTube thrifting personalities, Danny the Niche Lady and Alex and Aaron from Chapter 2 Vintage Company have invited me to join them on their sales. So I might do those first and then consider transitioning into my own. Please leave me a comment below letting me know if this is something you would like me to do. I can't wait to hear what you think. Here we are in the hard goods section and I just noticed this lovely mirror up top here. From a distance, I thought it might be vintage, but looking at it now, it seems to be a modern reproduction. So I'll leave it. The shelves are quite full. Here is a lovely little onyx tea light holder. I just love these natural stone pieces. They fit so well into every kind of decor. It's only 69 cents. Here is a crystal bird. It's very unique. It looks to be $5. I've never seen anything like this before. It says Shannon Crystal of Ireland. He's really, really unique. He is $4.99, but I do love him so much and I think I'll take a chance on him. Here's a lovely little set of geese or swan nesting measuring spoons. These would look lovely in a vintage kitchen. They sell really well for me, so I'll definitely take those. Way at the back here, is a hobbyist or project piece, meaning a one-of-a-kind item that somebody has created. It's $2. It is a bit crude, but I am going to think about that, so I'll pop it in the cart. Let's keep going. Lots of figurines trinket boxes. 
Here is a little Japanese vase. It's quite decorative, made in Japan. Oh, but it has a huge circular crack on the back of it there. So we'll have to leave that. It's a little porcelain figurine. Here is a fun piggy bank. Yeah, unfortunately, it has a big chip on his tail, so we will leave him. There is a bowl with lemons there. That's a modern piece. Here is a framed picture of some real butterflies, but unfortunately their wings seem to be disintegrating, so we'll leave that. Here is a set of humongous fishing floats. They're glass with rope. A decorative set. They're just a bit big for me to handle, so I will leave those for someone else. These, however, are fantastic cookie jars. Here is Snoopy. He is so fun. Look at that smile. He's $7.99, but there's still some room for profit there. So let's pop him carefully in the cart. And the other one is an absolutely gorgeous German Shepherd dog. Let's carefully bring him out. He looks to be in perfect condition with no chips. His nose even looks wet. Look at that face. We will pop him at the back there. There we go. And keep going. Here are the candle and candle holders. Lots and lots to see. Ooh, look at this. A little bulldog salt and pepper shaker set for $1.50. We will definitely take those. Just want to check this leaf dish. It looks like carnival glass, but it is a modern piece. Down here is a old Las Vegas 51's Mandalay Bay shark bubble head. The 51's are now the Las Vegas aviators. So that is a good piece to pick up. This is a little brass bow. I think it's made to be a trivet, but it would also look lovely hanging on the wall. We'll grab that too. some glass Tiffany style lamps and some faux stained glass little sun catchers dolphins here that is a decorative box I missed these pieces over here in the candles. This is an Ikea tea light holder, really pretty. And here is Venus de Milo. She is fabulous. She's $4. Let's take both of those. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. I'm not sure what this is. I think it is just a decorative candle holder. You pop a little tea light in the top there, maybe some fragrance beads. More clear glass down here. Oh look, here is a trio of Lazy Susan serving dishes. If I move this one out of the way, we can put them all together. This might be part of a Chromex set with the silver Chromex base and bowl, but I'm not actually certain. That is lovely though. More clear glass. What is this? This has a George Briard look to it, but it's possibly a copy. Let's see if I can find a signature on there. 
It might have had a sticker, but it's not ever so exciting to me, so I'll leave it. Here we are in the baskets and wood and frames and plaques. It's a really big butterfly there. Hangs on the wall. Let's see. All sorts of plaques. What matters most is how you see yourself. That is lovely. The little ginger kitten is looking in the mirror and he sees a lion. We'll get that for 99 cents. It's a plant stand. The knife block there. Some letters. Look at this box. It has a <laughs> it has a turtle on the top and it's painted white. Looks like a project piece somebody from their granny i really love that it's so nicely done i definitely want to save this piece from going in the landfill so let's pop it in the cart for 2.99 Let's keep going here. So much to look at. Wine racks, candle holders, all sorts of trinket boxes. It's a little resin or lucite piece. Sadly, again, the butterfly seems to be disintegra disintegrating in there, so we'll leave that. More letters, there's a big C there. Some napkin holders. Look at this fun piece. It's in relief, little layers of paper, a little boy with a basket. That is super. It's only $2. I love the purpley map board with the gold. Can you see how he's raised up there? Just lovely. Let's grab that. Just lifting things up, moving things around, making sure I don't miss anything. Some hooks. Oh, these are fun. Look at these old vintage letters. Really quite old. Look at the staples for hangers. If somebody has an old bar, this would be perfect. Letters B A R. The font itself is so vintage. That is fantastic. They're only 69 cents a piece. So let's definitely pop these in our cart. One of my favorite sections is the vases and planters. I love scanning this section to see what I can find. Here is a vinegar bottle that is just made to look vintage. Lots and lots of clear glass. Here is a French divided bottle. It's only $2, but I do see some chipping on there. Unfortunately, so we'll leave that. Also, it's missing its little stoppers. Down here is a pottery piece. 
Oh, it fooled me. It's not actually pottery, just a modern molded vase. Here are the planters. Again, this is made to look vintage. We'll leave that. Oh, look at this. This is a pottery piece. Definitely handmade, only 99 cents. And right next to it is a vintage planter in the shape of a shell. Absolutely gorgeous, a tower shell. So we'll take both of those pieces. Just check these over here. This looks like an Imagi, but it is actually a souvenir copy, not actually an Imagi. And this is a similarly made souvenir piece. Don't think that's signed. I might just take a peek at that just to see if by any chance it is signed on the underside. I don't think it is. This is a very interesting piece. I'm not exactly sure what it is. It's $2. It's porcelain. It sort of fits together as a box. Back here is another pottery piece. This one is signed, but unfortunately the petals are very, very damaged. This blue piece is pretty, but it is a modern molded vase. Up here we have a little reindeer. He is uh, shedding quite a bit. This is a little lamp base for a tea light. This shade doesn't go with it. I'm going to pop this in the cart because I think I noticed its shade over in the lamps section. Let's finish looking across this shelf and the lamps are on the next aisle over. I'm not seeing anything here. So let's swing the cart around because the lamps are right here. Now the little tiny shade I saw was right on the very end and I think it was blue with a similar nautical theme. It has dolphins on it so let's pop the base down and see if this shade fits. It's green tag 199 so that means that this shade and base have been separated for at least a week because it's on sale and now they are together. The base is priced separately but they're half price. I'm hoping that someone who loves it will come along and rescue it. While we're here Let's take a browse to see if there is anything else. We are in the Christmas aisle and these shelves are absolutely jam packed with treasures. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous resin gold reindeer, but sadly his right antler is broken, almost falling off. Here is a Frosty the Snowman figurine. Oh, and another gold deer. And this fellow's antlers are broken too. That is such a shame. Let's put the two together and keep our fingers crossed that someone who's really, really crafty can fix them to brand new. Let's see what else they have. Some decorative plates, lots of tins and cards and ornaments. These are fun. They look like little balloons. They were originally from Target. If you are in need of Christmas balls, Christmas decorations, this is a definitely the place to come. A wonderful selection, absolutely gorgeous. 
vintage to modern, whatever style you're looking for. Some Christmas wrap back there. We'll have to come back to that. Here are some signs. More ornaments down here. Let's take a peek at these. They're similar colors to the others. I think I'm going to go with a more vintage and classic look to my tree this year. Here is a box. It's Disney, it's Pooh, it's a Lennox Winnie the Pooh annual ornament from 2014. $8, I still think there is a room for profit on this one. It's a molded Santa. Please stay tuned for my haul at the end of the video. I show you everything I bought tell you what I paid and what I expect to get for it. Everything you see in the haul is available for direct purchase. So if you're interested in something you see at the price I mentioned, please drop me an email to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. They have so many Christmas treasures to look through. Shelves and shelves, so many different items. Down here is Christmas wrap, and I love this one for me. And here are two more rolls of the same Snoopy peanuts I found previously. I'm going to lot them together and sell them as three. Here is the miscellaneous holiday shelf, some Halloween here, the Avon nativity set. Ooh, what is this? This is a lovely piece. It's a really tall cut metal angel holding a bird. She's absolutely lovely and she's only $2. Let's pop her in the cart. I'm in the plates and dishes aisle and this platter caught my eye. It's a longer burger pottery pattern. A lovely, lovely serving plate. They do want $8 for it, but I am going to pop it in the cart, have a look on eBay and see what they're selling for. That way I'll know if at $8 there's enough profit to be made to make it worthwhile me picking it up. Let's take a browse along while we're here to see if there are any more longer burger pieces, any uranium glass plates, or anything else that catches my eye. Some pink bowls here, those are modern. can just tell by the way something feels. Here is a happy face planter. So many different stacks and styles here. Lots and lots. I always say to check every aisle of your Goodwill and this is why. I am in the plastics and way down here on the bottom shelf is something fantastic. Look at her. She is absolutely beautiful. She looks like an Asian goddess. Let's turn her over and see. She says, Dow on the back, Tendai by Daniel Popper. Oh, this is from the Dow Beach Club at the Venetian Hotel here in Las Vegas. I have never seen this. Daniel Popper makes enormous sculptures and they're absolutely amazing. Here we are in the mugs having a look. Here's a little UNICEF peace mug. Lots and lots to look at.
look at this one here is $2.99 oh it's team Grinch and team Max from the Grinch that stole Christmas that is absolutely lovely it's a Universal Studios mug let's pop this in the cart we'll keep looking to see what else they have whole big set on the bottom here this is a Griswold family Christmas mug from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation <laughs> in the cart you go <laughs> Way up here, I have spotted two little Vegas Knights hockey team uh, ice skate boot shot glasses. These are really fantastic for 99 cents each. No damage. Let's pop them in the cart. Here we are in the kitcheny bits. Lots of clear glass as usual so silver plated pedestal bowl oh this looks like port marion but it is actually cordon bleu that is interesting yeah the quality is just not there port marion pieces are absolutely the best quality lots of crystal serving bowls Here's a covered pie dish that is very cheaply made, very lightweight. We'll leave that. A little baker. I always check these for La Crusade. It's an asparagus dish. There's some decanters at the back there they're asking ten dollars a piece that's a little steep for me for resale I'll leave those for someone else a couple of pink little dessert or fruit bowls here bakers glasses a little project piece single serve teapot some turkeys oh these are ever so lightweight I think these came from big lots it's a little sake set Here is, I think these are Fultz Graf salt and peppers. Nesting corral here. All the lids. Oh, back here is a titbit tray. Let's take a look at this. Really pretty reticulated plates. I think somebody has created this piece. It's $5.99. I wouldn't really want to ship that for the profit uh, I could make it just not be worth it so I am going to leave that for someone else let's find a safe spot for it travel mugs cookware
here is a bread warmer these are quite good you put them in the oven till they're warm and then you put them at the bottom of your bread basket and it keeps your bread warm oh this is fun a little vel victorian rabbit is it a wall pocket it's very sweet for two dollars let's take that Some owls here. Oh, those are lightweight resin. And we'll leave those. All sorts of odds and ends here. I'm making my second round of the store and noticed this on the end of the aisle. It's a 1990 George Carruth kitten wall plaque. It's absolutely amazing. Look at the little mouse peeking over. It's really, really heavy. It's got its original hook. It's only $4. This is a great find. Let's put it safely under the cart. There we go. My second time down this aisle and I found a lucky bamboo vase. It's got a frog, a piece of bamboo and a little snail on it. And here is a brand new packet of vintage book plates. Little stickers that you put inside a book. There's 50 in here. Brand new, only 69 cents. We'll take that. This is Goodwill's baggy wall. They take their smalls and miscellaneous pieces, pop them into baggies, price them and hang them up on the wall. It's a really fun way for them to display little odds and ends that they might not be able to sell otherwise. You go from corks to marbles to pens, stickers and office supplies patterns, ribbons, all sorts of treasures. Here's some soap. <laughs> you really can find everything at Goodwill. Let's take our usual stroll through the frames and artwork on our way out. Oh, look at this. This is a foil picture. The shine caught my eye. It's printed in England. It's a little boy holding a teddy bear and helping his sister down some broken steps. And there's an angel watching over them. It's only $2. I love the waterfall on the right hand side. It looks like it's flowing. Let's definitely grab this lovely piece. We'll keep going, see if there are any more similar. And on to the larger pieces down here. Oh, here's a little doggy frame. It's a bit chipped and scratched, unfortunately. Lots of big pieces. They look to be mostly modern canvases today. This is fun. These are real sea urchins put into a shelf. There is no way we could ship that. <laughs> Some mirrors and larger pieces. having a flip through this is a framed print two little mermaid pictures are sweet another mirror
Let's have a look at the furniture. Ooh, look at this. This is a really interesting sculpture. So it looks like it's been outside. It could use a bit of a clean on the base there. Let's lift it up if we can and see who makes it. I'll have to go around this side. I'm anticipating that it's quite heavy. Here is the absolutely gorgeous metal sculpture I found just as I was leaving Goodwill. I believe it is bronze or a bronze type metal. It's really, really heavy. The pieces are soldered onto the base here. Just a really lovely modern themed sculpture. It is actually made by Austin Sculptures. Let me turn it over here so you can see. It's dated 2016. Here is the Austin Sculpture sticker. It is super duper heavy, so I am going to offer it for local purchase. Here on my table is everything I found at Goodwill. Bandit and Ziggy are here. Hello, handsome. Ziggy is taking a nap. Ozzy. First, we have this lovely little raised image don't know if you can see, but it's actually layered. The little boy and the chicken and the house are layered up in relief off the page. And they're in a little box frame. I paid $2 for it and I'm going to ask $30. Next we have this really sweet little salt and pepper set, little bulldogs. There's a white one and a black one. They have gold tone collars. I paid $1.49 for them. I'm going to ask $15. This is the little turtle box we rescued. It is signed. I love you inside and on the back to Dorian Love Granny Jude. It's made in Indonesia. I'm not sure whether Granny Jude decorated it herself or whether it came this way. But it's lovely. It's got a wooden turtle applied. And it's all painted with florals. Just a lovely, lovely box. I paid $3 for it, and I am going to ask $25. Here we have two rolls of our Snoopy Peanuts holiday gift wrap. Each roll is 20 square feet, and I'm going to be offering three of these rolls, so you get 60 square feet, and I am going to ask $20. Here is our absolutely gorgeous German Shepherd cookie jar. 
He's fantastic. Really lovely face. He's got a high gloss glaze. I paid up a bit for him at $7.99, but I couldn't find another one on eBay. There is one on Etsy for $59. I am going to ask $50 for him. This is a Snoopy cookie jar. He's so fun. He's got his Snoopy smile. Really lovely piece. The price on these is all over the place. They range from 30 all the way up over $100. I am going to ask 40 for this one. This is a oversized coffee mug from the movie National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation starring Chevy Chase. It's the Griswold family Christmas showing the tree strapped to the car. Really fun. I paid $2.99 for it and I am going to ask $20. This is a lovely Grinch that stole Christmas, Team Grinch and Team Max. And it wasn't until I got it home that I noticed that the handle has a crack in it at the seam. It doesn't show underneath, but all the way around at the top is a crack, unfortunately. But it still would be fun for a Christmas display if you like the Grinch. I paid $2.99 for it and I am going to ask $15. Here we have a pair of Vegas Golden Knights hockey uh, ice skate shot glasses. They're from the Fiesta Casino here in Las Vegas. I paid 99 cents a piece for them. I am going to ask $12 a piece. This is a bobblehead from the Las Vegas 51's uh, baseball team in conjunction with Shark Reef at Mandalay Bay. The Las Vegas 51's were actually purchased by the Howard Hughes Corporation and now they are the aviators so the 50 ones don't exist anymore that is why I knew I should pick up this bobblehead I paid four dollars for him and I am going to ask fifty dollars back here we have a English print 19 93 Scaffa Tornabine Art Publishing Company. It is a foil piece. Really lovely angel with a little boy and a little girl going down some steps. The angel is watching over them and the waterfall, as I mentioned, looks like it is actually flowing. It's a gorgeous little piece. I paid $2 for it. I'm going to ask $20. This is a lovely little print of a cat looking in the mirror, seeing a lion. What matters most is how you see yourself. Really nice piece, still brand new in the plastic. I paid 99 cents for it and I am going to ask $12. This is a statue of Venus de Milo. She's absolutely gorgeous. She has a maker's mark on the back. Pegasus made in Greece. She is a lovely glossy resin. Really, really nice. I paid $4 for her and I am going to ask $30. Back here we have our little uh, Lennox Pooh Bear dated 2014. I paid $8 for him and I am going to ask $30. This is a 
This is a Daniel Popper Dow Tendai piece. I paid up for her $7. And I've done quite a bit of research. I found Daniel Popper's large sculptures that he uh, erects mostly at concerts and uh, he had one at EDC, the Electric Daisy Carnival here in Vegas, and he has a large piece at the Venetian, but I wasn't able to find any small pieces like this. So if anybody can help me with a value on her, I would much appreciate it. Just pop it in the comments so uh, I can read it and we will see uh, what she's worth. Back here we have this gorgeous metal angel. She is holding a little bird and I believe you can pop a tea light under her dress and it will shine through. It's a lovely piece. It's not signed anywhere. Really nicely made. I paid $2 for her. I am going to ask 25 This is a piece of handmade pottery, a project piece, hobby piece. It's signed on the bottom. I paid 99 cents for it. And I am going to ask $15. It's a lovely brown and white swirl. Would look absolutely gorgeous with a single rose in it. I love that piece. This is a vintage planter. It's a tower shell. It has quite a bit of crazing on it, but it is obviously quite vintage. I paid $2 for it, and I am going to ask $18. Here is a brand new packet of book plates, the little sticky labels that you can uh, stick inside your books, put your name inside. There are 50 book plates in this box. It is still sealed in its plastic. Lovely collector's item. It would look gorgeous just as a display. I paid 69 cents for it. I'm going to ask $20. I love onyx. This is a gorgeous little tea light holder. The striations are absolutely lovely. So many colors in this piece. The base is a gorgeous caramel color and it goes through burgundy, gray, and uh, a pale, pale ivory. I paid 69 cents for it. And I am going to ask $20. This is a gorgeous vintage bow. It was actually made as a trivet, but I think it would look absolutely stunning hanging on the wall. It is brass, definitely vintage. It has just a bit of wear in some of the cracks. Lovely piece. I paid $2 for it and I am going to ask $30. If you have an old bar, these are perfect. Vintage script, vintage uh, made. I'm not really sure what they're made of almost a composite. They have vintage staples in for hanging and they are painted and glazed. Really, really fun. They're a dark navy color. I paid 69 cents for each. I am going to ask $25 for the set. 
Back here we have our lovely Lucky Bamboo little planter. It is signed on the bottom, possibly a project piece. It has applied bamboo, a little frog and a little snail here. Really, really sweet. It would look gorgeous with some little bamboo stalks in there. I paid 99 cents for it and I am going to ask $20. This is a gorgeous turquoise green candle holder. It's made of glass. It's quite heavy, really, really nice quality. It is an Ikea piece. It looks to be brand new. I paid $3.99 for it and I am going to ask $20. I couldn't find this piece online anywhere. It's marked Victorian Rabbit and it looks to have images similar to Beatrix Potter's Peter Rabbit on it. It's not marked otherwise. It could be a little wall pocket or a planter. I paid $2 for it and I am going to ask $20. This was my mystery of the shopping trip. These are two little ceramic pieces that fit together. They are decorated with a floral design. It looks to be transfer wear and they have a little notch to allow them to fit together. I don't know if they are ashtrays or for chopsticks. I would think ashtrays is the most logical use, but I paid, what did I pay? I'm not sure. I think I paid two or three dollars for this and I am curious if anybody can tell me uh, what they were originally intended for. Last but not least, a little set of geese or swan measuring spoons. There are three of them. They would be lovely just as a decoration. I paid $1.99 for them and I'm going to ask $15. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the shopping trip and the haul. If you see anything you're interested in purchasing, please drop me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name and address, the item you're interested in, the price I quoted, and I will see you next time. Bye. We have some super duper sleepy animals tonight. Here is Bear. He had a good run at the park chasing his ball and he's absolutely pooped out. <laughs> Are you pooped out, Bear? You're very tired. You're very tired. And we also have Ziggy over here, snuggled up on the top of his cat tree next to the window. His face is buried in his paw. <laughs> Ziggy! Let me get a different angle. So you can see that he is really tired. Ziggy, did you have a long day too? Hi, Beth.